So if you want to play Minecraft with ray tracing, you will need to have an RTX graphics card. And to check what graphics card you've got, you want to right click on the Windows icon in the bottom left, and you want to click on Device Manager. Once the Device Manager loads up, you want to click on the drop down menu next to Display Adapters, and it will tell you what graphics card you've got. Now if it doesn't say RTX like it does here, and then unfortunately you don't have an RTX graphics card, which means you can't play Minecraft with ray tracing. In the description of this video, there will be an Amazon Prime free trial for 30 days, so if you do want to pick up an RTX graphics card, and then now is probably the best time. So if you've got an RTX graphics card, the first thing you need to do is click on the Windows icon in the bottom left, and you want to type in GeForce, and you want to open up the GeForce Experience app. Once GeForce Experience has loaded up, you want to click on Drivers in the top left, and you want to click on Check for Updates and you want to make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date to play Minecraft with ray tracing. So once your display drivers are up to date, you now need to get Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. To do this, you want to click on the Windows icon and type in Store, and you want to open up the Microsoft Store. Once the Microsoft Store is opened up, you want to click on the search bar in the top right and type in Minecraft. And once you've searched for it, you want to click on Minecraft for Windows 10. Now there are different versions, so you want to select the right version. Ray tracing is only available on Minecraft Windows 10 Edition and not any other version. So you will need to download and install this version of the game by either purchasing it or getting a free trial. Once you've got Minecraft for Windows 10, you need to go back up to the search bar and type in Xbox Insider Hub and click on this app. You then need to go ahead and download the Xbox Insider Hub and this is going to allow us to access the beta version of Minecraft which is going to unlock the RTX feature. Once you've got it installed, it should look something like this. So what we need to do now is launch the Xbox Insider Hub. So once the Xbox Insider Hub has launched, you want to click on Insider Content in the top left. And you want to click on Minecraft for Windows 10, join the Minecraft for Windows 10 beta program. So it should look something like this, and you want to click on Join just at the bottom. If it doesn't, you want to click on Manage instead. This pop-up box should appear, and it's going to ask us what version of the beta we want to join. So we can either join the standard version of the beta, or you can join the Minecraft for Windows 10 RTX Beta, which is what we want to join, so click on that, and then click on Done. You then want to accept the Terms and Conditions, and it should start downloading the Minecraft RTX Beta, and this may take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on your internet speed. So once the Minecraft RTX Beta has finished downloading, you want to exit out of the Insider Hub, and you want to go ahead and load up the Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, and you want to make sure it's the Windows 10 edition and not the Java edition. To check you're on the correct version of Minecraft, you should be on version 1.15.0.8 and no other version. So because ray tracing is in its early stages, we can only get it from a ray tracing compatible world. And to do this, you want to click on Marketplace. And then you want to click on Ray Tracing Worlds by NVIDIA RTX. And then you want to select from any one of the six worlds that are currently available. Or click on free just in the top right. So once the RTX worlds have downloaded, you want to click on play. Then you want to click on create new. And then you should see more worlds listed. And you want to click on see more. And then you want to select from any of the RTX enabled maps. In this case, we're going to load up temples and totems. And then you want to click on create this world just in the top right. You can then go through some settings on the right. But once you're ready, you want to click on create just on the left. Now unfortunately I can't record RTX gameplay, but as soon as you load into the game RTX will be enabled. If you want to change any of the settings though, you want to go to your settings tab, then go to advanced video settings, and you can change your RTX settings from here. If you just want to change your normal settings, you want to click on video, and it's all here. If you want to opt out of the Minecraft beta program, you want to click on manage, and then you want to click on unenroll, and click on done and that will revert your Minecraft to an official version. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on to someone if you find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and have a good day.